Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and time once again, to, time once again for my pseudo cast. And before I get rolling here, um, I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy, pomegranate blueberry flavored. So, ready for some pops. All right, but anyway. So this one here is gonna be uh I played this during my stream yesterday. Um this is a new genre that I came up on my YouTube recommendations called com or it's called Comfy Synth. So it, it's just oh, I kinda it, it's the kind of stuff you probably hear in like you probably hear in like uh, in those old Super Nintendo RPG games like when you're in town. It's like the first thing that comes to mind. Or when you're at a, when you're at a, a special NPC's place, you know that kind of music. So, but um, I do have, I do, I do have a fair amount to talk about. So, it's, so, oh, and um, to start with, to start with, um, a few days ago, um, I had a. I had to delete one of my casts because uh, I and I got an email saying that it was uh, like it was copyrighted content or something like that. Um, it wasn't a it wasn't a pure threat or anything like that. They they weren't gonna give me a copyright strike in a week or whatever. But figured uh, be, uh to be on the safe side, just go ahead and delete it. So once again, um, just you know, just to give people a heads up, if uh. If you like what you hear, or if you like getting in my cast, I highly recommend that you actually download it, because who knows when they're who knows when they're gonna delete it later on? Or let me rephrase it: Who knows when I'm gonna have to delete it later on? Like, because like I said, this um, this last one, it um, I it didn't I didn't get the uh, I didn't get the copyright BS immediately. Um, it I got it like a few days after posting it up. So, this. let me do a sound check on this. It's actually coming in louder in my headphones than it is the uh, in the uh, actual computer. That's why. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Uh, but aside from that, the. Uh, the big event that happened is uh, towards the end of my shift on uh, on Friday or on Saturday morning, I got called to the office, and the the short the long story short, um, I basically got the "give us a reason why we shouldn't fire you" speech uh, for calling in too many times. Um, but uh, one of my coworkers. He kind of, he kind of mentioned, I think he went through the same thing. But, uh, I think he, he kind of warned me about it too. They're starting to, they're, they're, they're starting to let people go. Or they're, let me rephrase that. They're trying to let people go for like, you know, taking too many days off and stuff. Um, but, but yeah, um, on the other, on one hand, um, oh, on one end, um, I don't want to say I deserve what I got, but I, in the back of my mind, I kind of had a feeling something like this was going to happen. And for those that don't know, the way Walmart works with their attendance policy, you can call in up to five times in a rolling six-month period. Uh, but if you call in that sixth time, they're supposed to fire you. And um, this, this isn't, this is not a it's not a. It's not just a per store thing or anything like that. Or theoretically, it's not. It's not even supposed to be a, ma a per manager thing either. Like you get the sixth call in, they have to fire you according to policy. All managers have to do this. Um, all WalMarts have to do this. So this is universal. So it isn't. They're not just. They're not just throwing shade at, or they're not just targeting you specifically or anything like that. Um, granted. Sometimes they do get a little. Sometimes they do, they do let things slide. Um, 
you know, it's, they don't, you know, they're not, they're not super religious about it. I mean, there's been a, I mean, there's, there's been times when I've been well over the, the five call in limit. And it's, you know, it's, it was, it wasn't like, it, basically, if it was strictly enforced, forced, I'd have been gone a long time ago. So, but again, and um, when I went to part time, I actually had ten call-ins. So, on one end, on one end, I, I, I would say I kind of deserve what I got, if it wouldn't been a misinterpreted as. As, oh, I like being called to the office and having my job threatened. Or, you know, I like it. I like being called to the office and being damn near fired. You know, that kind of thing. No, no, it, but, um, again, when I went to part time, I had 10 call ins, but what they did is, um, uh, the manager at the time, she knocked it down to four, to just four call ins. So she really stuck her neck out for me to, you know, to keep me here. This is the same thing that pretty much happened yesterday, too. I had um, I had eight call-ins, but uh, I also told him uh, three of those were due to COVID. Um, last week I mentioned this, I think I already mentioned this, but I had to take basically the work week off because um, I was at Applebee's with my mom and sister, and um, it was it, it was a restaurant with you know, we got the right around the lunch rush, so there was a bunch of people in there, none of them were wearing their masks, so I figured to be on the safe side, I'll just go ahead and call in because of COVID. Um, come to find out later that, uh, you can't, apparently you can't just, you can't just call it because of COVID and that's it. Like you have to contact a company called Sedgwick. They like handle, uh, leaves of absences and stuff like that. I had to go through them, but, um, when I looked up their information, they said, um, you only contact them if you're going to be gone longer than three days. But again, I was only up. I was only gonna call in three days. Like that was it. Like it wasn't no four days. It was three. So I was under the impression that don't bother. Um, apparently, when it comes to COVID, the rules are different. Even if it's one day, you're supposed to call them. So, but um, I, I talked about. I told him that, and he said, "All right, I'll you know." All right, we'll let you know. We'll let we'll let these ones slide because you didn't know at the time. So he knocked it down from eight to five call-ins. So I'm basically one more call-in, and I will be gone. Because one thing that kind of one thing that kind of shook me about this is uh now that I've been called to the office and they're now aware of this, they're probably gonna watch me like a hawk now. So um, so I'm thinking um. Uh, Given, uh, given retail and given the way, given the way management and everybody in general is going to be, um, I'm pretty much going to be at their mercy now. I have to mind my P's and Q's and they can probably get away with, uh, being bigger douchebags too, knowing that I can't call in, you know, or if, if one of them is being a really total asshole to me, I won't be able to call in just, you know, I mean, no, not. I wouldn't call in solely because of a manager, but if, you know, if I tweak my back, if I hurt my shoulders or something, you know, having to deal with this bullshit with a screwed up back, you know, whatever, isn't worth it. So, you know, I wouldn't call in just because of a manager, but if I was injured or if I was, uh, if I was sick or something, then yeah, I would not, you know, not, you know, it's not... Having to deal with that isn't worth the back pain I'd be going through, or I'd be suffering through on top of it. So. But any, anyway, you kind of get the idea, though. So they could pretty much get away. They could um, pretty much get away with anything short of murder now. This is probably what bugged me. So they're gonna, you know, again now that they're now that they're aware of all this. Uh, I think my life is probably going to be more of a living hell. But, um, and uh, another thing, too, that I just I just thought about. Um, we're pretty much on a skeleton crew now. And here I am sitting, you know, I called in the entire work week last week. Um, I called in on, I called in Thursday. You know, so that's, you know, 
they're already suffering even more, suffering even more, and I'm uh, and I'm one of the vets too. I mean, I've been with Walmart for 15 years, so otherwise, because now they're being stiffed with a whole bunch of rookies. So, uh, not really the kind of music I probably should be playing on a pseudo cast, but like I said, I wasn't in the mood. I wasn't really in the mood to hunt for um, to hunt to hunt down anything like that I thought would be interesting to play in a in a pseudo cast like this. It just I just it was it was either dungeon it was uh either dungeon synth or comfy synth. So I just I just settled on this one. But but yeah, uh, kind of to reiterate, yeah, I, I kind of had this coming, again. Uh, but sorry to sound like a broken record, but when I went to part time, I had ten call-ins, but she she went ahead and knocked it down to just five. Just she went ahead and knocked it down to four. So and I'm pretty sure they were doing that at the risk of getting their own butts chewed in the process. Because again, this is this is supposed to be a universal a universal attendance system. So technically, they're not supposed to be doing this. And, uh, and it's the second thing happened, you know. So and again, it happened this time around. You know, the, even the manager, you know, this manager even told me point blank, he's supposed to fire me. But uh, he really need, you know, he really needs me here because we're on a skeleton crew. So he basically said, give me a reason why he shouldn't, you know, shouldn't fire you, you know. Cause you called in on this and this and this day, and I, ex you know, I, I explained to him. I explained to him, you know, why I called in on those days, and based the the short version. Okay, we'll work. Okay, we'll work with you, but we need you to come in. So, so he, so again, he went. In, he knocked my call ins down from eight to five. So, so once again, he he's basically taking one for the team. So, uh, but to 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 get off get off the subject because I'm I don't really want to dwell on this anymore. Um, I just been playing a lot of City Skylines. Um, I kind of want I kind of wanted to stream it, but I have been having some pretty terrible luck trying to stream at night. Like nobody shows up. I think I did a pinball stream like a week or two ago. Um, it was like, like um, somewhere around nine to ten p.m. Somewhere around there. I think two people came on for a hot minute and then split. But otherwise, nobody else came on. So, so I've just been playing that offline. Um, I, I think I'm um, in yesterday's stream though. I was uh, I did a unlock all cheat you know just a cheat that unlocks everything all the buildings so I just puttered around with that for a while um ended up uh, really grossly and deeply in the red like my city was basically super insolvent it was just I forgot I forgot the word I was gonna I forgot the word I was gonna use for it but yeah I was like real deeply in the red but I was just experimenting too, so just trying out different stuff. Um, I started up another city. Oh, that was that was another thing. Um, in the middle part of my stream, when I was uh, when I was hemorrhaging cash fast, I had to turn the infinite funds cheat on. So, oh, and yeah, this. Okay, this is album two of my playlist. Like I said, just a new, just a new genre I'm checking out. Um, good, I mean, good genre, good music, but not something I'd want to listen to for a super long period of time. I had to abandon, I had to abandon the playlist and go play something else. So, but anyway, um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh, finishing things up here soon, so no big deal. But yeah, um, started another city. Uh, just again did some more experimenting uh, with the um, again 
with the unlock everything cheat and the infinite punch cheat. Um, but basically, I just turned it into a sandbox mode is what I did. Um, and, and again, just, you know, just try, you know, different, you know, different layouts and whatnot. Um, different buildings, different, you know, just different, you know, different everything. So... But, alright. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good. Um, I think I've said all the things I wanted to say today. So, I'll just go ahead and kill it here. Um, but, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for dropping by, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye now.